Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and it's Tuesday, the 26th of July, 2022. And that means it's the weekly Reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates and the vendors and the challenges reset. We've got a chance for new content to be added into the game. Well, stay tuned for info related to Solstice 2022. We've got Season of the Haunted, Nightfall info for the week, Seasonal Challenges, Banshee's Weekly Weapons, and also, what is in the Eververse store this week? Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, let's check out the weekly reset items for the week. Well, it's Solstice Week 2, as you can see, with Eva standing in front of me. So by now, you've probably earned your armor. You're probably on your way to earn that Flame Keeper title. Or perhaps you've started on your alternative characters. If you haven't started yet, just go and speak to Eva in the tower. She's right here. And you land in the courtyard. There she is. Go and speak to her. Then you can start getting in on the Solstice festivities. Let's have a look at the Nightfall info for the week. So the Nightfall this week is the Corrupted. The weapon is going to be the Horror's Least Pulse Rifle. If you do a Grandmaster Nightfall, you're going to get the Adept version of that Horror's Least. So that's going to be a really, really good weapon going into PvP this week. So good luck if you're jumping into the GM this week. It's not available at the moment, but Trials of Osiris will be back at the weekend. And also, check out your inbox, as Bungie sent out an email yesterday to everyone signed up for marketing emails from Bungie and Destiny 2 to choose which is going to be the map for Trials of Osiris this week. Well, also, we've got Hotfix 4.1.5.1. That rolled out today with today's reset. That was about 400 or 500 megabytes, so hefty little update, that one. You can check out the patch notes on Bungie.net. Let's check out the seasonal challenges with week 10. We've only got three this week. So first of all, we've got Haunting Cacophony. Defeat combatants with a machine gun final blow on the derelict Leviathan. Defeat powerful scorn in any server activity. You've got Europa activities. So on Europa, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events and lost sectors. And finally, you've got the Vanguard Ornament, so acquire the Vanguard Ornament for Chain of Command. And that rounds out these seasonal challenges for Week 10. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Witch Queen reset items for the week over on the Throne World. We have a new weekly mission, and this week is the last chance. Don't forget, these are a great source of Ascendant Alloy and also a good source of Pinnacle Gear if you're still leveling up your character. Talking about Pinnacle Gear, you can also go into the Wellspring. We have Vox Obscura, the exotic mission here as well. We've got the Preservation Mission for Pinnacle Gear. We've also got the Vow of the Disciple Raid. And talking about the Vow of the Disciple Raid, let's check out the raid challenges for the week. And also the Featured Raid and the Featured Dungeon too. In terms of the Vow of the Disciple, the challenge this week is Defenses Down. That is in the upended encounter. That is a tough one. But you do get a chance for that extra loot. Let's head on over to Europa and check out the Deepstone Crypt. This week's challenge is Red Rover. Next up, let's have a look at the Vault of Glass. This week's challenge is Strangers in Time. Now, I was going to go to the Dreamy City there, but I changed my mind at the end. Don't know why. Check out the Last Wish Raid. The challenge this week is Forever Fight. And finally, last but certainly no means least, the featured raid for the week is the Garden of Salvation. Talking about featured content... Of the Pit of Heresy is the featured dungeon for the week. So this week, the moon is your location for featured raids and also dungeons too.
Next up, let's have a look at the playlists and the pinnacles for the week, starting off with the Vanguard. As I mentioned before, the Nightfall this week is the Corrupted. To raise those bars to 100%, get a powerful tier 1 drop, and also to 100k Nightfall, you will get some pinnacle gear. The Weapon is the Horrors Least, and the Grandmaster Nightfall, well, that is going to be the Corrupted too, unless you're going for a Gilded title where you can select them all. If you complete the Grandmaster version, you will get an Adept Horrors Least. Checking out Vanguard Ops for the week. It is a Solar Singe, so stick on your Solar 3.0 builds, jump into the Vanguard Ops, and you will get some Pinnacle gear. Let's check out Crucible for the week, and the rotating playlist this week is Clash. And do three matches, and you will get some Pinnacle gear. Trials is back at the weekend. Don't forget, you can also jump into Crucible Labs this season. Let's check out Gambit for the week. Do three matches to get some Pinnacle gear, and there's also double Gambit ranks this week. So this week could be a good week to get that ornament for Chain of Command. And also, I do believe there are some challenges to do related to the Solstice title in Gambit or Crucible. So if you don't like Crucible and you jump into Gambit, it could be a good week to jump into the activity from the Drifter. The Banshee 44 this week, we've got Legal Action 2 as a Kinetic Pulse Rifle, Underdog and Adrenaline Junkie. Now I'm going to give that one a miss. We got the Enyo D. That's pretty good at that submachine gun. Kinetic submachine gun. Fragile focus and surrounded. Isn't too bad at all. Then we've got the Vision. This one is an energy arc sidearm surplus and elemental capacitor. That could be pretty tasty. We have the contingency plan. That is a scout rifle, subsistence, and kill clip. It's not a bad role at all. We've got the Palmyra B, unrelenting and chain reaction. I give that one a miss. And what a surprise, Banshee 44 is selling the Typhon GL5. I think he might have sold that every week since the beginning of the season. This one is Demolitionist and Frenzy. Not really a lot to shout about this week. That NOD might be quite good. The Scout Rifles are quite useful for going into Legend and Master Lost Sectors and also Nightfalls too. Persistence and Kill Clip, that isn't too bad at all. So I would say if you're going to pick up any weapons this week, NOD and Contingency Plan, they are probably your best bets. Well, that was Banshee 44. Next up, head on over to the Eververse store. See what Tess has for us for Bright Dust. Well, first of all, we have Pomegranate Gloss. See if it is a special shader. Pretty nice. Pretty sort of mustard colouring there. The Warlock robes. We've got the sand castle effects. Classic summer emote, that one. We've got the final instar. That is a ship. That looks like a bee. And a summary. We've got the tropic causal. Look at that. Have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items. So we got the Flamingo Projection. We have the Grey Nitrate. That is an ornament for Surif Regime. That is pretty damn good. Look at that. Very good if you like the old Suros. We got the Ori Dawn. Pretty nice. We got the Micro Mini. This is a very popular Sparrow. I've already got this one myself. But if you haven't got the Micro Mini, well, you can get this one now for Bright Dust. We've got the Predator Sun Shell. Very Curse of Osiris vibes, that one. We've got the Teamwork Dance. And we've got Flag on the Play. Oh, 
We also have the Warsat Arrival. We have the Nightmare Emergence. We've got the Beach Ball Effects. We've got the Golden Age Wine. Very delicious sounding shader. That looks pretty cool too. Got the welded brass. Also very nice indeed. We've got the oiled algae. I think we had that one last week. Very good that one. Very, very good. We've got the vintage timber. Quite as good. Still pretty good. Well, that is going to be it for the weekly reset on the 26th of July, 2022. The Solstice Week 2 is in full effect. So I would go after that Flamekeeper title if I were you. But otherwise, loads to get stuck into in Destiny 2 this week. We've got the Featured Raid, the Featured Dungeon, the Trials coming back at the weekend, and also the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle. Well, that is in the Nightfall and the Grandmaster Nightfall this week. But whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Let me know down in the comments what you're going to be doing in Destiny 2. Just standing here having a cup of tea with Fallen Dragon. Shout out to you, Fallen Dragon. Whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I'll see you very, very soon.